The film began at a high school where all of the students were celebrating their high school graduation and many were excited to start college soon. A young man named Bartleby Gaines, better known as B, is another student who wishes to attend university. B is a very interested student in the world of computer technology and he wishes to continue his studies in computer-related fields. In high school, B channeled his talent to create fake ID cards with his best friend, Sherman Schrader, a computer genius. Despite his aptitude for computers, B is unable to gain admission to any of the universities to which he has applied. Unlike Schrader and his female friend, Monica Moreland, who has been accepted to Harmony University, one of the city's most prestigious institutions. B's parents advised him to find a campus that could accept him immediately after learning that he had been rejected by all of the city's universities. The situation worsens when B and his parents attend Schrader's graduation party, where B's father declares that he has given up on B's future. Hearing this, B, who was confused by his parents' pressure, had a crazy idea to solve his problem. He decides to forge an acceptance letter from a fictitious university so that his parents will no longer bother him. B creates a fake admissions letter for the South Harmony Technology Institute and sends it to his house. To make his lies more convincing, he asks Schrader to assist him in creating a fake website about the fictitious university so his parents wouldn't suspect him. After reading B's convincing fake acceptance letter, his friend Daryl Hans requests that B create the same letter for him. This is due to Daryl's severe injury, which caused him to lose his football scholarship, forcing him to apply to another campus. B had planned to refuse Daryl's request, but in order to help Daryl, who was in trouble, he was forced to agree. He emphasizes to Daryl that the fake college admission letter is only a temporary solution until they can convince their parents in another way. Schrader finally created a fake website that describes the profile of the fictional campus B created after spending several hours in front of the computer. B's fake letter was received the next day by his father, who immediately informed him of his acceptance. His parents appeared pleased and proud after learning that their son had been accepted to a college. His father even went straight to B and handed him money to pay for tuition at the campus where he would later study. B was so shocked and burdened after receiving the money that he immediately thought of looking for a place that could be used as a university's South Harmony Technology Institute to make the campus look real. A few days later, while B and Schrader were conducting a survey to find a suitable location for their fictitious campus, they came across a former classmate named Rory Thayer. Rory discovers that she has the same problem as B after failing to get accepted at several campuses in their city, so she decides to join his plan and assist him in finding a suitable place. Rory then takes B and Schrader to an old, long-abandoned building that used to be a mental hospital but has been closed for a long time. B was confident that the building was suitable for their fictional campus after looking through and inspecting all of the rooms. With the assistance of his friend Glenn, B and his three friends began cleaning the entire room and yard in that location. He also decided to attend the South Harmony Technology Institute because he had not yet enrolled at the university. They got right to work, sweeping, clenching, and painting the room, as well as putting the name of the campus institution on the main door. After cleaning and redecorating the space, B received a phone call from his father, who stated that he wanted to meet with the dean on his campus to ensure that he did well in college. B tries hard to come up with various reasons why his father should not come to his campus, but because his father continues to force him, he is forced to find someone to be the dean of his campus. Soon after, Daryl suggests that B and Schrader meet with a former lecturer named Uncle Ben, who has been out of college for a long time. They also intend to pay Uncle Ben a high salary to serve as dean of their college. He initially declined the invitation because he was tired of the country's education system, but because he had recently been fired, he chose to accept the offer. The following day, Rory and Daryl invite their friends to come to the South Harmony Technology Institute campus and pose as teachers or students. When B's parents and sister visit campus, they will be able to persuade the B family that the campus is real. His parents became increasingly convinced that the campus was an official campus after taking B to the campus dormitory and meeting Uncle Ben, who disguised himself as Dean Lewis's dean. His sister Lizzie, on the other hand, still doesn't believe B and suspects that the campus is a sham. Following the crisis, B and his friend decided to unwind on campus by playing video games together. But, while they were playing, he was approached by Abernathy Darwin, a young man who claimed to have been accepted into the campus. B had planned to tell Darwin that the campus was fictitious at first, but he changed his mind after Darwin mentioned that hundreds of other new students were waiting in front of the campus. When all of the new students entered the South Harmony Technology Institute campus building, B could only remain silent and frozen. Apparently, many people can apply to the campus because Schrader's bogus website accepts anyone as a student without any sort of selection process. 
The incident surprised B, Schrader, and Daryl because the fictional campus was supposed to be just a secret campus they built to solve their problems. But now, the fictitious campus is causing new problems for all of them, and they must find a solution right away. Following a brief discussion, B and the others agreed to inform all new students that the campus was fictitious. Surprisingly, when B addressed the new students, he stated that he was determined to make the campus a place where they could achieve their respective dreams. According to B, the South Harmony Technology Institute campus is a second chance for those who wanted to continue their studies but were denied admission to any university. When Daryl, Rory, and Schrader heard his statement, they were perplexed and immediately asked him why he was doing this. B stated that he couldn't tell the truth about the fictitious campus in front of all the students because he couldn't bear the thought of crushing their hopes. B intends to establish the South Harmony Technology Institute campus by studying how other campuses operate. He will use all student registration fees to build campus facilities and infrastructure while also learning about academic curricula from other campuses. He even attended some classes at Harmony University and inquired about Monica's college experience. B, however, decided to create his own curriculum on the South Harmony Technology Institute campus because the education curriculum at other universities was too complex. The campus will not limit students' interests and talents in the curriculum. Each student is free to express their creativity and participate in club activities based on their interests or hobbies. Ambrose, the chairman of the committee at Harmony University, came to the B campus one day to meet the owner of the building's land. Ambrose, who is unaware of the fictitious campus, plans to purchase the land and building, but B stops him. Not long after Ambrose left, Rory approached B in a panic, saying that Lizzie was already aware of their fictitious campus and planned to inform his parents. Knowing this, B tries to convince Lizzie not to reveal the secret to their parents until he finds a solution. Hearing this, she agrees to keep the secret on the condition that he create a fake ID card for her so she can attend a nightclub party. As a result, B was forced to comply with her request that she not tell their parents the truth about the fictitious campus. Monica returned to B's campus a few days later to meet him and return the camera she had borrowed the day before. She appeared surprised when she learned that his campus's curriculum and academic system were very open and valued each student's creativity. Monica, who had no idea the campus was fictitious, stared in awe at him, who had been accepted into the campus. The following night, the South Harmony Technology Institute campus hosted a musical show to allow students to express their musical talents while also having fun during their freshman year of college. Harmony University also celebrated its campus anniversary at the same time, but the majority of its students went to the South Harmony Technology Institute campus. Ambrose and his friend went to the South Harmony Technology Institute campus to disrupt the party after learning from one of the female students that the other students were having a party. Fortunately, when Ambrose and his friends arrived at the location, Schrader noticed them and informed B. As a result, B and the other students on campus kicked them out. The next day, Ambrose and his friends intend to question Schrader about the South Harmony Technology Institute campus. They pretend to invite Schrader to a brotherhood party in order to persuade him. When Schrader arrived at Ambrose's house, Ambrose and his friends arrested him and forced him to reveal the location of the South Harmony Technology Institute campus. B visits Schrader's dormitory a few days later and finds him covered in wounds from being bullied by the Ambrose gang. Ambrose has taken his laptop, which contains all of their university's website data and emails, he tells B. In the end, what B feared happened, the guardians or parents of the South Harmony Technology Institute students came to campus because Ambrose had emailed all of the students' guardians inviting them to the parents' meeting. Not only that, but Ambrose went before the Board of Education and reported on the false profile of the university's South Harmony Technology Institute, threatening the campus's disbandment. When the dean revealed that the campus was a sham, all of the guardians, including B's parents, looked disappointed and left. A few days later, when B returns to the South Harmony Technology Institute's campus building to look around, he discovers a letter from the Education Service inviting him to a trial to determine the fate of the South Harmony Technology Institute. After reading the letter, B went to his friends and asked for help in saving their campus. The trial will provide them with an excellent opportunity to demonstrate the South Harmony Technology Institute campus's eligibility before the Board of Education and obtain official permission to operate. After hearing his explanation, Schrader and the others agreed to help B save the campus they had helped build earlier. All South Harmony Technology Institute students came to support B and save their campus on the day of the trial. Moreover, his parents unexpectedly attended the trial to support their son because they had always demanded B's success. 
The prosecution cornered B at the start of the trial by claiming that the South Harmony Technology Institute campus lacked a standardized curriculum and appropriate academic accreditation, and thus deserved to be dissolved. The campus also lacks basic amenities such as a library, a sufficient number of teachers, and a suitable research laboratory. B, on the other hand, tries to persuade the school board that the campus can assist many students who want to continue their studies and achieve their goals. B even displays a board with all of the students' dreams to demonstrate that every student on campus deserves a chance. The council, however, refused to accept the argument, and the situation at the trial quickly became chaotic due to Dean Lewis's out-of-control temper. B explained that on the South Harmony Technology Institute campus, all students could channel their talents and pursue their interests without being constrained by America's rigid education system. Every student on that campus has the only opportunity to develop their creativity or invention, which is the ultimate goal of American education. Following B's electrifying speech, the Board of Education recognized the potential of the South Harmony Technology Institute campus and its students and decided to give the campus a chance. After careful consideration, the councils agreed and officially granted permission for the campus to operate under trial accreditation for one year. Congratulations. Everyone seemed pleased with the decision, and B's parents were very proud of their son's accomplishment. Finally, the South Harmony Technology Institute campus is back in business and growing to become a more stable and better institution.